Government will spend around 6.4 million US dollars on the acquisition of 50 buses to supplement the fleet of the Jamaica Urban Transit Company JUTC. Signing of the contract took place on Tuesday at the Ministry of Transport office on Maxfield Avenue. In my sectoral presentation in April, I outlined that the contract for these 50 new buses will add significant value to the JUTC's fleet with five electric and 45 diesel buses. The five electric vehicles is a start as the government of Jamaica looks towards the future of transportation. The vehicles are expected to be delivered between six and nine months commencing in the last quarter of the calendar year 2022 and will be placed in the Kingston Metropolitan Transport Region. Transport Minister Audley Shaw says it is expected that the newer diesel buses will have better fuel efficiency and lower carbon footprint per passenger trip than the aged buses of older technology. The 50 buses are in addition to another 20 12-meter compressed natural gas buses to be acquired under the expansion of the natural gas project in partnership with the New Fortress Energy Company Limited. We are moving forward with discussions and I'm optimistic that we will soon be able to add these additional buses to the fleet as well. So we're looking mostly in this year for the addition of 70, a total of 70 new buses. Five will be electric, 20 will be compressed natural gas. Minister Shaw gave the breakdown on cost and information on the charging stations. For the 45 diesel buses is five hundred five million four hundred thousand and that's of course US dollars and the five electric buses that will cost one million and eighty thousand dollars. The electric buses will be equipped with three charging stations. In time, given the success of these buses, we will expand both buses and charging stations. The possibility also exists that other entities may utilize these charging stations as we build them out and as we introduce, of course, electric vehicles, and that is very much on the, the agenda.